Are, are we are we going? Are we good? I think things are good now. Yeah. Yeah. I hope we're good. I'm sorry, everyone. Stream looks up for me. Yeah, are, we, like are, we, are we back in back in past 2012? Seems to be good. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Um. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be stuttering for me anymore, so that's a good start. Um, yeah, 2016. All right, hit the intro. Yeah. We're back, guys. 2018, top clock. Um, thanks for joining, everyone, even though we are uh, super duper late. Like, we are... Possibly the latest we've ever been. One of the latest, Possibly. for sure, for sure. Possibly. Um, happy birthday, go hide, by the way, Amnesia. Thanks for it's two bits. Um, thanks for your thanks for your two cents. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, usually we will do a little bit of a little bit of a small talk, but uh, the only small talk that we have time to really fit in is I'm typing on box worlds and you're not yet. That's right. Um, a couple things to point out, since I don't think anyone heard me last uh, time we, we started the stream, because it might have been so laggy. A couple things to note. Um, as you can probably see on the screen, we do not currently have our sponsor's gift. That's still that's a technical difficulty. We just haven't put the uh, the new one, updated one, in yet. Um, sorry about that. We are still sponsored by all the same people, and uh, you know we'll talk about that later in our sponsor spot. Also, uh, Quantric, I saw you sub earlier quite a while ago. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Pudsy, also to you, and Payway, and Go Hide. Oh, my God, subs coming in. Twitch Prime for the win. Thanks, boyos. Um, we appreciate that. So we will have a guest on a little bit later. Um, it'll be Olivia, designer of GMK Olivia. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to pretty much roll right into some news just to try to make up for some time. We have a lot of news, by the way. So much going on this week, and a lot of it's really cool. So, sorry for being a little bit late, guys. Major technical difficulties, and uh, hopefully, we can uh, progress through from here on out in the best way possible. And hopefully, it's not too late for all you guys. Yes. So, we will roll right into some news. News. And here's the news, VR. And starting off on the news with our first topic. If you, uh, there's the link. The link is the link. The link got shut down, unfortunately. Um, the, really? Yeah, it did. Um, but it will be on switchmod.net, uh, .net, which is the interest check for Red Riot, which I'm going to just find the interest check on, um, yeah, on Geek or no. but, it, I, but I did have the, um, it's not even on the first page of interest checks anymore. Red. Oh my God. Oh my God. Geek hack. Geek hack search functionality. So bad. Yeah, right. So okay, bad. here we go. Okay. Got it. Thank you, Crowbit. Not so, I'm sorry. Thank you, Pudsy. Um, yeah, G, uh, JTK Red Riot coming soon, May 1st, 2018. All JTK, all blanks, all red. Good compatibility. And you know what? $47. Ooh. Oh, boy. Wow. That is... that is Probably 50 Pudsy says. Um, still. Fifty dollars, you know, you get a five dollar discount for no tray. So obviously, guys, no tray life. Yeah, you don't, you don't need trays. All right, so pretty, pretty interesting stuff here. We haven't really seen this before. We haven't really seen a uh, like a thick, like premium ABS option for blanks. So this is this is really cool. It's going to have lots of compatibility, and of course, because it's blank, you you don't need quite as many keys. Because you can use the ones that are the proper row that don't have legends, since they don't need legends anyways. Um, actually, you know what's funny? What is funny? In the in the in the picture on SwitchMod.net, look above the bo the very bottom spacebar. There's a very sh there's a very faded shift key. I just noticed that. Oh, that's kind of funny. I do see. Um, <laughs> that's, that's 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 cute. Uh, anyways, um, still really cool stuff. Uh, the benefit to this is obviously you don't need as many keys and you don't you know have to go through the double shot process, thus a cheaper price, which is why you see it for you know around fifty dollars or less. And hopefully Very faster cool faster production schedule as well. Exactly. Yeah, that'll be that'll be great. Um, I have no idea what JTK's lead times are right now. I know they've had some consistency issues in the past that are hopefully fixed now, but a lot of that had to do with Legends, and obviously with no Legends here, 
then uh, you know we can just get the ball rolling. This will be a super simple kind of buy. Yeah. And the price is really, really, really competitive with other uh, cherry profile blinks on the market. For sure, for sure. I mean, getting the Gatoron PBT blinks are thirty to forty mm-hmm. bucks, depending on who you ask. So, fifty for JTK blinks, not not too bad, not too yeah. bad. Um, very, speaking very cool. of hoping JTK gets their legends fixed, next is another interest check by Pudsey, which is for JTK Yolsh, which is a yellow Dolsh. Um, I Yay, think more Dolsh. Yes, do- more Dolsh is always a <laughs> it, great it, thing. And it does look cool. It, it is yeah. it is a nice looking set. I just, lots of Dolsh. <laughs> yes. There's also a link uh, for the Switch mod as well. Um, MOQ over 195 bucks, not too bad. Um, good compatibility. But will yeah, they fix this, their legends? Uh, yeah, having having the corrected legends would would be good. I you know I talked to Z Frontier about it the other day, and apparently the legends were fixed on JTK Aqua. Mm. So I I have still personally yet to see it. So I can't comment personally, unfortunately. Aqua still in but, production, so we'll hopefully see soon. Yeah, so hopefully this will have the updated legends, which I think will make JTK a lot more competitive with GMK because mm. it won't look as bad. Yeah. So pricing here, pretty much what we expect from a JTK set. It will be under a hundred bucks, even at the lowest MOQ. It'll be ninety-five, but at that four hundred MOQ, you get seventy-five dollars, which is pretty in line with uh, past JTK sets, and presumably with corrected legends, not too bad of a price. Hundred and forty-eight keys. Has all your uh, pretty normal compatibility. Yeah, I dig yeah. it. Yeah, I'm 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 definitely gonna get JTK Yolsh because I definitely want, well depending on once the Aqua ones come out and people post pictures if they fix the legends Yolsh is like an insta buy for me. Yeah, so that's fair. That's gonna be. I don't know about Yolsh for me, but I'll be I'll probably pick up Red Riot if nothing else. Yeah, because that's the that's the kind of set I can probably afford. You can't mess up Red Riot. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So this is uh, an interest check right now. I I don't know if this is guaranteed to run, mm. but uh, you know, show your interest in this thread. Yeah, show it, and we can uh, get the ball rolling on that. Yeah. Speaking of things where the ball is rolling, the ball was dropped once, but uh, Jessica has decided to pick up the ball again for GMK Necro. Um, which is our next news topic, which is started the group by this last week. Um, so far, 39 orders have been placed for the base set. Uh, $145 for Necro. Brian, you liked this set the first time it ran, right? Yeah, so I actually really like the way this set looks. And it's looking a little bit more promising this time, which is cool. For those of you that might not remember, um, several months ago, uh, Jessica, who also is the designer of GMK Plum, um, put out this, and you know, she aside from the plum, isn't like really like well known in the community. She's not, you know, necessarily a vendor. And she tried to run GMK Necro the first time through just herself on like a brand new site she had just made. And it, in my opinion, because of that, the group I kind of failed. She didn't get nearly enough uh, orders and publicity. And so that was kind of a bummer because I really do like the set. And now that she has you know a little bit more time going going by, and she has uh, she has great proxies. She's still running the, the main set on uh, her store, but she does have proxies. She has uh, mykeyboard.ed or eu and um, Z Frontier, one of our partners. So she has the proxy game covered, which is very nice. So hopefully this will actually sell quite a bit more sets this time. That way we can actually hit those MOQs. Yeah, and 250 yes. MOQ. DM keys alone is 39 of the base so far. We don't know the numbers yet for uh, my keyboard EU or Z Frontier, but all three combined, do you think it's hit 100 yet? I want to say it's close, but not over 100 yet. Um, it's over 100. You think so? Yeah. It's been it's been almost a week now. I think it's probably over 100. At least from this number, she probably has more. More today, but more recently. Yeah. It's, it's going until April 27th, so check it out if you get a chance. The colorway is pretty nice, pretty cool. Um, it's very different. I like I like different. Yeah. Yeah, everyone go, uh, go go check it out when you get a chance. I really like the novelties, too. Those little, like, row one, uh, like, like cute skulls. Oh, man, those are those are. I love this. 
Oh yeah, those novelties are pretty. Those pretty are. Too. Yeah, love it. So yeah, if you're if you're into this, then then definitely join it. So mm-hmm. that way, you know, people like me can also get it. Speaking of things people love, people love nine zero zero nine, but not everyone loves ABS. So what's the alternative? Enjoy PBT nine zero zero nine. KBD fans is announcing it's going to be a thing probably. 178 keys. Um, most of it is space bars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 178 keys. 128 of that is space bars. <laughs> but seriously, um, actually, for those of you that have been around for a little while, about a year ago or more, um, JChan of KeyClack.com tried to run effectively the same thing and enjoy PBT 9009 set. It failed horribly. It sold like nine units. His colors couldn't even meet the MO, an MOQ. I think that's the big issue. People are also worried about this one: is the colors for that that reddish and greenish have to be like really spot on for people to actually want nine zero zero nine. If they're slightly off, like there were with J Chan's attempts, I don't. Think, I think people just say no. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. So um, I, I think the benefit here to having KBD fans run it is it's probably just going to happen i i don't know if yeah. it's going to be a good buy or it might be something they just straight up stock because of how popular 9009 is i, I, I right feel now. like knowing knowing kbd fans they're going to run a group buy that's going to help them kickstart having a large amount in their inventory right colors or not they're just probably going to go for it that's what i think Mm-hmm. yep Price point. So, so 178 keys. What are you thinking? I'm thinking enjoy PBT 178 keys. I'm thinking $95. No, it's going to be more. It's going to be 115 115 Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice yeah. if it was 95 Because of Because of all the accents and stuff. That's true. Oh, yeah. If you look out, if you look at like the more compatible sets that uh, have been like through EPBT recently, they, they've been they've been up there. Things like, um, like Arabic also and... Um, uh, like the newest, uh, like Hiragana one, mm. um, that, that do offer more compatibility, but they are over that uh, that like ninety or hundred dollar price. For point. those, it was also because of the uh, extra legends to die sub, while these only have that's true too. Single legends, well, yeah, we'll see. You do get you do get a lot more caps here though, just a lot per, like because of those accents mainly. I, I'm I'm saying a hundred hundred and ten easy here, but I, I'd love to see it under hundred, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Maybe group buy price will be like ninety five, and then post group buy will be like one hundred, one twenty. Um, we'll see though. Uh, but speaking of um, group buys and things that need to be kickstarted, um, our next topic is quite the doozy. It is the hub mechanical keyboard keycaps that the Van keyboard Evan is running on Kickstarter. He is asking for half a million dollars to get this yeah, profile so made. Let's uh let's let's take let's take a step back right here and let's let's just talk about that price. So why does he need half a million dollars for the hub keycap profile? Um molding costs, double shot molding costs for the for the profile, uh, molding costs for the double shots because these are ABS double shots. Um, as far as so, I've been setting up all that and tool and and the t- associated tooling, I don't know what the itemized thing is. Um, he probably has it somewhere. He should have it somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just that that price seems really high. But I mean, obviously, I I don't know what it's gonna be like. Um, I. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. That seems... Asking for half a million dollars seems really extreme to me, but that that's that's very... Obviously, my knowledge of molds and stuff is pretty minimal, but from what I understand, molds aren't that expensive. They're expensive, but they're not hundreds of thousands of dollars expensive, but I, I don't know. Maybe the tooling is insane. I mean, is he trying to effectively start his own keycap factory? Probably, basically, I think. I mean, I guess, I guess that makes a little bit more sense. Um, very ambitious when I look at it like that. Yes, definitely. Um, but through this, the best way he's decided to uh, do this with his Kickstarter is 
off the bat just try to offer a ton of different sets um, different colorways with decent compatibility all the way through and let's kind of talk about these colors for a second because all these colors other than like 80s kits aren't they're all based off another popular colorway but aren't that popular colorway what do you think about that route for trying to get get these caps out there and get them popular for example um the royal set is obviously a take on the gmk ta royal alpha the greens are completely off but they're both kind of greens um the uh, general idea is there ski data isn't ski data well yeah i i could also say that the uh I'm these not... particular renders might not be color accurate or anything these are, these are pretty bad renders yeah these are pretty bad renders um, but it does give you an idea of like you know the, the kind of colors he's going for um I mean, at the very least he has a ton of options yes options which are very which good. which which you need if you're effectively trying to to become a keycap manufacturer. So pretty interesting here. And um, have you've used the hub profile, correct? I have used a 3D printed prototype of these keycaps. So what were your, uh, your, your quick impressions of it? My quick impressions were if the tops still were spherical like DSA, but they had a very slight profiled curve like Cherry. Okay. Um, basically, similar to Mix, except with more of a DSA top. Um, although I think uh, so, but then Mix kind of does it differently with how they do their their curvature for profile. Um, yeah, I like them when I use them. I use them on my Fiel for reference, sixty percent. I thought they were pretty nifty. Um, they're definitely like what I would con definitely consider buying. Especially at these prices, like oh my goodness! Like have you seen these prices? One set is fifty bucks. Really? I, each each set is fifty dollars for the for the single fifty dollar pledge. That one's gone. If you pledge one hundred and twenty five dollars. That's three packs of hub. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, you, you get you two hundred dollars. That's six packs. I mean, wow! That's, like he's offering these yeah. keycaps at like. A steal of a deal. Hmm. When you really think about it, for the amount of keycaps. Yeah, that's probably another reason why he wants such a big, um, you know, startup capital in that five hundred grand uh, asking price. So he, he's probably actually losing money on the sets themselves, but he wants to counteract that with the. Uh, or maybe the that's why he wants goal. such a high Kickstarter amount. Maybe, for example, if his Kickstarter amount was a quarter mil, we'd see each of these key sets at a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars each. Exactly, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it's just this this initial like base run. Because I imagine that if he if he does meet this goal and he does get established as a keycap manufacturer. These sets aren't going to cost thirty, forty dollars when you start buying them, like on the mainstream. Like once everything's said and done, that's pretty much just going to be for this Kickstarter, I imagine, because that's a lot of caps, man. I don't think you can sell a lot of caps like that for like thirty or forty, even like fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. I think the I think the prices later on are probably going to be a lot closer to a hundred dollars. But we will have to wait and see. Obviously, Evans, a, Evans, a cool guy. We definitely wish him the best of luck here. This yeah. is. It's very ambitious, but if he can pull it off, more power to him, man. We will see. Brian, do you think it will make half a million dollars? No. What do you think Evan should do to help convince people it's worth trying to get to that half a million dollars? I don't know, man. So this is actually kind of hard because when I I've never actually used Hub, so can't comment on the feel. But from what I've seen from Hub, it doesn't seem terribly different to something like uh, DSS, which is a, a new signature plastic profile that is effectively sculpted DSA. I typed on that at the most recent Seattle meetup. It was awesome. I loved it. Um, so it's like Hub is definitely a new profile. But it's also going to have some competition. 
I'm not really sure like how they're going to compare with each other. It could be very close, could not be. Um, what I think he should do to like really hit this goal, I, I don't know, man. I think he's probably already doing everything he can. He's already offering the sets at a really low price, or seemingly a very low price. And, you know, from there, it's just hoping, luck, and advertising. Um, hopefully, he's advertising on all the right platforms. I'm sure he is. He's He's been around for a while. He's not He's not stupid. But, yeah, you, you got to you gotta also appeal appeal more to the masses, I think. Um, I you know, was, why, why, would, yeah. why would, you know, Johnny RMK want to buy this set? Because obviously people like you and I could be like, oh, that's cool, a new profile, let's check it out, and grab one of those. But, you know, we're, we're still a very, very small minority compared to, you know, people that are, frankly, less in the hobby. So, eh, it's really tough to say, man. Yeah. Like, you gotta, you gotta appeal to people that are, like, you know, just buying their, you know, ducky keyboards or Philcos or whatever and just swapping caps. And, you know, not, not like the super high-end enthusiasts that are you know only buying like 600 dollars boards so so to expand on that um to apply to you know johnny rmk um one of the things i wish and i hope he considers doing is why not offer a double shot black or white keycap with pom legends so you have shine through legends and hit up corsair hit up razor and be like hey do you want to try a collab where you can you know buy a ton of these caps and make this a thing or go to ducky or go to varmillo you know and like hey yeah you help me make these things a thing you got some awesome new profile shine through caps we can market it as i don't know something gamery right just something right move units yeah. i think that would be a pretty cool i mean that's kind of very far from us as enthusiasts but it's things yeah, like that, but that it's... make things like this a reality. But, but you know that's that could be a really big start whether it's directly to us or not you know, getting getting because obviously five hundred thousand dollars to you know Corsair or whatever or you know Ducky is it's, it's probably not quite as much money as it is to like you know the van keyboards. So it's it's very possible that if they did go that route, it would be uh, very successful. And just him being able to make this initial five hundred thousand dollar goal and get everything he needs to actually start pumping out these keycaps, you know, then we'll see a lot more of it in the future, right? Because right now, like, we're not really thinking about the future in this project. You're thinking about, like, I need to make $500,000 and do all of this, like, right now. Like, this all needs to happen. And, you know, if, if going to Corsair or Ducky or whatever helps that, more power to him. Mm -hmm. Speaking of more power to people, sometimes I feel like people have too much power and too much time in their hands. Like our good friend Dakota, who has his interest check for doing a uniform all row four key set. How do you feel about row four cherry profile? I, I mean, I typically love row four cherry now, profile. How do you feel about it all <laughs> over your board? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie; I've never tried this, but I imagine <laughs> it not being that great for me. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's, that's so strange. <laughs> I, when, when he's trolling, was this was this on April Fools? No, it was the day after April Fools. Uh, I don't know, man. I'd love to try this, but I'm way too lazy to uh, get out all of my row four cherry caps it's and like do that. One, one of his th thinkings was like. Every every size you need already exists as a mold for row four. Okay. Right? The only thing yeah. you don't have is Scoop's homing keys in row four. Otherwise, oh, like... They're scooped all right. <laughs> they're scooped. <laughs> Otherwise, like, you already have 1.5U row four. You have 1.25. You have 1U, right? You have 2.25. 1.75, 2.75, 2U. They're all in row four already. So his logic is like, let's just fill. Let's just fill a board. What is Megaforce complaining about my mic? What's wrong with my mic? Too loud. Oh, really? I don't know. Should I move it further away? Sorry if I'm blowing people's ears out. I figured other people would be complaining about it at this point if it were. We'll see, you know. 
Maybe maybe we can convince 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 uh Budzy to get on this train and do all of it. You know what I'm saying? For for Red yeah. Ride. Do, someone do 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 a JTK row four yes. cherry profile do, first coda. Do a blank a blank JTK. Because that way you don't even have to make new legends. You can run this row four for fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. Come on, genius. Genius gotta do it. Genius. Gotta do it. And you know what, speaking of things that have to be done, I'm really hoping our good friend Mark McMerlin runs his interest check. Right now he's doing an interest check for GMK Cerulean Sage, a.k.a. GMK Merlin. It's the idea he's been playing around with for a while. The last few days he's been teasing and showing this to us in our uh, Top Clack Discord. And he finally posted it up yesterday, is the Merlin. Um, that's the same blue as Triumph Adler. Um mm. Yeah, and you got some yellows going on. So. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's, it looks okay. It's less Ikea than another set I can think of. That's true. Because Triumph Adler Blue is very unique. But check yep. it out. It's the CP White TU1 Blue N6 Yellow, which is the same yellow as Nautilus. Um, best of luck to Merlin. He's a good guy. He's been working on um, compatibility with all of us these last few days. Um, I keep telling him ISO needs to be another kit or it needs to be cut. Like, save the rest of us prices. You don't use ISO, Mark. Who uses ISO? Like, eight people in the world. Come on. Wow. Come, come on. Uh, and before everyone hates top click. Yeah, but check out this interest check when you get a chance. I think you should check it out. Comment, leave Merlin some advice. He's always looking to improve the set. He actually has a little list he's told me he's written down. Um, every time people give him suggestions, he writes it down and he keeps track of it. Um, but speaking of things that are basically only eight of that people are going to like, our next news topic. Clue board. Double 1800. Um, I, so, I don't understand this. <laughs> Why would you need a, a numpad on both sides? So, at, this actually came out on April 1st, and people thought it was a April Fool's joke until they added it to cart, and it took their money, and they were like, wait, this is real. Well, it's, uh, <laughs> sold out right now, so... I don't know if that means they actually sold out, or maybe maybe he just refunded people. No, no. <laughs> I mean, it has memes on the back. Oh, does it? it good. Does. Good. It goes to the silk screen. It has has all these memes. People thought like, oh, this is this has to be an April Fool's joke. Like this is hilarious. Then they're like, you got charged ninety nine dollars. Your shipping thing is going to be in April later this month. And people are like, what? What? Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. I I don't really know what to say about this. Just, I mean, I guess, I guess it's not, it's not that bad. Like, I mean, obviously, all the keys are going to be programmable, so only one side needs to be a numpad. The other is more or less a macro you know, pad. No, no, one who gets this, I hope you use both sides as as numpads. Multi maximize your efficiency. When doing all of those spreadsheets, Cole, when I'm looking at you, anytime you're in Excel and you need to hit numbers twice as fast, this is where you go. Uh, I mean, it's not really that much more extreme than, like, the castle. Hata, <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for the uh, the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate that. Chris or TN as yep. well. Thank you, Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, buds. Yeah, so it's going to be a thing. I'm going to be excited to see um, some actual pictures from other people doing their builds and how they do it. Um, I know Olivia and Walker, two people on our uh, on our, on our Discord, have said, yeah, I ordered it. Yeah, I want to do something with it. So I'm excited yeah. to see so, how it turns out. So $100, $100 what, is, what does that get you? PCB? Diodes. Uh, okay, PC so it's not even... Not PCB, even an assembly. Teen C one twenty eight diodes, three five millimeter red LEDs, three resistors, 
two GMK screw on stab packs because one pack isn't enough. Um, solder the screw, solder on screw bases and clear acrylic bottom plate is what you're getting. Check it out when you get a chance. Yeah, I mean it's sold out now, so obviously you can't you can't get it. But I I am excited <laughs> to see one of these hit mm -hmm. the market. Speaking I need some pictures things that just hit the market, just shipping out last week and this week. You've probably seen a million pictures in RMK or across different dis discords. The White Fox available now on Kono Dot Store, one of our awesome, wonderful partners. Dude, for a hundred dollars, you can get the kit without switches or keycaps. If you want to add some hakos and some keycaps, you're with no key, oh, you're up to two hundred four. Um, it comes with aluminum feet. You know, it's, it's available. It'll ship now. That's actually kind of cool that you can you can just get it for a hundred bucks with no switches and caps. Yeah, that's fine. I'm. I have that's, my. I got, that's pretty cool. They actually also had night foxes on the store, but the night foxes like ran out right quick. Um, oh, there's yeah. more on the order right now as well. Um, so it's a thing. Yeah, uh, I think that I think that, I, I like the night fox much better. Tbh. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah. I like I like the way your sounds now with that sorbethane in it ooh. too. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty tasty. I'm on a lie. Night Fox video out this weekend. But, um, yeah, check it out when you guys get a chance. Hako Trues, Hako Clears. Um, it's uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, looks like they're already... They also have the Data Mancer um, White Fox case. It's a wood case for the Data Mancer, which will make it high pro. In my opinion, I think it looks really kind of awkward. Yeah, it, it does make a high pro, but there's so much space in between the board and the edge of the case it's like because pro. it's because it's also a carrying case. Yeah, which is cool. I, I do like that feature. Uh, wow, yeah, hundred bucks. That switches bucks without caps, without cable. Hundred bucks. That's that's actually pretty good for for DIYers and all like the us. new ones. USB C because USB C is the future. I guess it's a thing. I'm the future. Yes, you are. You are all. You know, it's also. The future? What is also the future? Um, apparently, the Noctuary 208. Yes. An this... eight key <laughs> macro pad. With this brass weight. was posted yeah, with, with <laughs> brass weight. This was posted on April 1st. His title says, No Longer a Joke. So I really don't know if this is like a thing so the reason it's no longer a joke because so he posted this original one if you look like three posts four five six posts down someone asked for blockers and he rendered one with blockers as well oh my making, god hhkv style blockers making it a six key who <laughs> blockered brass insert <laughs> i'm the type of person that will give up a quarter of my functionality for those blockers that is amazing <laughs> right so people love this so much. Um, he he's gonna make it a thing, and I'm actually really happy. If this is a thing, I want to get that with the blockers. Let's see if I find the other render that he posted of ridiculousness. Okay. This is this is silly, but yeah. this it's getting a lot of attention. Heck yeah! Well, I guess it turns out to to not be a joke. Also, quick shout out to everyone watching right now. Uh, we appreciate it. 124 viewers. That's that's definitely up there with with our record. I think so. That's that's amazing. Thanks you. Thank you all for showing up and hanging out with us, talking about keyboard stuff. You know the bad thing is though. What's the bad thing? Limited to five. Wow. Come on. Just, um, just well, hope. That, 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 was, that was probably posted before he said no longer a joke. I hope that was when it was solo joke. Like making it super exclusive, but I don't know. So I hope it's like he actually does his open up to a normal, normal group <laughs> buy because NGL. Like, sure, I'm getting a, a, a Rama M6, but Noxer a 208 with blockers might be a six it's key like, that gives it the run for its money. It's like <laughs> a it's like a two piece macro pad. With like that plate top be... top mounted <laughs> yeah. brass plate brass weight. What? USB C QMK PCB. Oh my god! It says shouldn't cost much. We'll get price up soon. TM. Not gonna lie, this was like one of the favorite things I've saw for April Fools in this community. Zondat. This is cool. pretty good. This is yeah. pretty good. Yeah. 
I dig that. Speaking <laughs> of things that were pretty good, a lot of people liked Singa round one. So Cat Wee was like, you know what? I'm going to hit you with the round two. Um, first come, first serve, I believe. Limited to 55 units. Um, it's the Singa. Yeah. It's a 75 what percent. A, has a stainless nice steel weight this time. Mm. Mm. What did I have last time? Brass. I had the br it was one of the lion. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. It looks Wait, nice as block wind key, uh, wind keyless blocker on one side and blocker to separate the arrow keys on the other side, which is not, pretty not fresh. Bad. Pretty fresh. Um, pricing we're, for the all alu kit, we're looking at three seventy six USD brass kit three eighty eight, and that is inclusive of the fees. Very nice that they actually calculate that for you. Shipping to us here in the Conus would be fifty to sixty dollars, so you're looking at between four twenty five and a lot of money. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, if you're no stranger to buying custom keyboards from out of state, then that's no surprise to you at all. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks, looks pretty nice. Man, if I had money, I'd, I like, I'd definitely consider this. Yeah, it, look, it does look Is this nice. like a mirror polished yeah. stainless steel? Yeah. Yeah, you can see it in one of the pictures. Really good. Like the camera in one of the pictures. Yeah, it looks look. really good. It's well, so, great. That's awesome. Check that out when you get a chance. That is a 75% worth keeping your eye on or worth trying to get one of those spots if that's a layout you really really like yeah heck yeah bruh speaking of layouts people used to like at least people used to like the model f layout but that layout's kind of kind of down died, died down a bit but i think a new revolutionary take on it is well appreciated and that's going to be done with the alf x3 Intersheck just launched yesterday. Um, yeah. It is a one, also two, called the three. Renova. Yes, also called retro the Renova. plus innovation. Yes, Renova. It's a five-piece case, counting if you count all the weight pieces as one, and you got the top, bottom, plate, and that accented mid piece. Which I love that the idea of the accented mid piece because that just adds yeah. just oh another another avenue of flavor and color to the sweet sweet board thank you donut cat by the way for the twitch prime sub three months in a row the strip between the f keys and the main typing section that's going to be an rgb led strip um this one this... you see on screen is the mal version which looks absolutely beautiful this yeah the, the the mao is is cool here because when you have that like kind of like darker off white it does lend itself a lot better to like more vintage designs. So I I like this a lot. This is absolutely a home run for me. I'm I'm really excited about this, and it's also being ran through our partners at Z Frontier. So yeah, I mean, win, I, win. the idea of the fact that you can have your case one color, then have the accent piece in the middle one color, um, is great because that lends so much more to cust color customizability. Which Look is, at this yeah. weight design, man. Look at how intense this weight is. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's quite... The weight itself weight. is three parts. It's three parts to the weight. That's that's incredible. I, I'm a little worried to see the price on this. So it is a Chinese design. It is being ran through Z Frontier. Usually, that in the past, that means uh, relatively low prices. $468 this is, a is my board. guess. Four hundred and sixty-eight. I don't think it's going to be that much. Well, I'm going to say, included, of course, because Z Frontier ship sh shipping free from Z Frontier. I'm going to say, I'm going to say three hundred and seventy shipped. So I, I, I definitely think we're under four hundred here. Um, either way, I I love this design. This is this is great. This is just more of what I I love seeing from uh, from from designers like Alf. Yeah. It's it's unlike it's unlike anything else. And like it's really, really neat, really intricate. And the weight goes all the way Fantastic. through from side to side, so you can see the weight on the sides as well. Great. Yep. Actually, those yep. are the set two separate pieces. I'm pretty sure it's not all completely joined. Yep. But still, beautiful awesome stuff. accents. Love this. Definitely awesome stuff. Where's? 
my mouse battery died for a second. There we go. Um, moving on is something very, very hype for a lot of people, and that's probably the wrong link. That is the wrong link. So let me grab the right link before we move on to it, because uh -oh. that happens. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, I, yeah, I see what you did. Yeah, you see what I did? Okay, I got yeah. the right. I got the right link though. Um, you might want uh, if you want to search on it on your own. I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll copy pasta you. Okay. I got you with that uh, copy pasta since I need to put this. Fantastic. In so next up, we have an intercheck for something super hype from Yutsuki, the TGR. Alice, probably one of the finest custom yep. ergo boards you could go for nowadays. Oof, with that TGR logo on the right side between the alt and control. This is, this is money. Then you know what? Boot, mapper, client. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. even though I'm not going to be able to get one of these. Yes. Oh, man, I might um, just like have to like... Pulled into the great recess of debt, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this is this is very sexy. I I love these like really like premium uh, ergonomic customs, like the uh, not only the Alice but like the LZ Ergo, mm -hmm. um, even like to a lesser extent for me, but the EM Seven. I think I think these are these are fantastic. It just looks gorgeous, man. So good. Yeah. Yeah. So um, good. Ooh. Ooh. There's so many, so many good things. Um, I'm looking for price. We don't have a price yet, yet, but the goal don't is to finish yet. the group buy within 8 to 10 weeks. Hoping to make at least 40 to 50 boards. Price should be 400 to 500 US dollars each. Oh, yeah. Mm, that stings, but that's exactly what I was expecting. Oh, build this up. Put some, put some nice, nice sixty-two gram, just very, very, very slightly lubed ergo clears in. Ooh, classic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. man, I can't look at this any longer for fear of somehow trying to find out how can I afford it. Okay, well let's look at something that you can afford, and that's also ergo, but on the new age level. <laughs> Going over to Yay. our homies at Novel, our homie at Novel Key, they now have the Kale Chalk Let's Split Kit, which is a Let's Split Kit that takes advantage of their low-profile switches that are finally available, or that have that have been available, but most people haven't found a use for them. Um, yeah, this this is probably the best use you're going to find at the moment for these. Um, looks like you get that there. Wait, there's caps, right? My high. Like you can buy caps from you Novel can. Keys. He does. He does sell the caps. Okay. He sells blanks, or he sells um, legend caps if you'd like shine through legends. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. Very cheap. very 44, thin. Portable. Forty-four bucks, dude. Yeah. It's and pretty then cheap. You, you you add that top pack promo code. That's that's cash money, as in five percent off. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> also comes with uh, acrylic bottoms from Strata KB. If you're not familiar with Strata KB, that's uh, Jollymon. He used to do a lot of acrylic work uh, in, in the past in the community. He has uh, relatively recently changed his name to Strata KB. So that is that is him. Cool stuff. Yeah. We should get you one of these for you to do a video on because I want to see if this is if this will be a struggle for you with your with your bare gauntlets. I mean, I've. It's not hand wired. I could, I could do this. I've, I've How, done all this. Could before. you, could you use it? No, I'm talking about you. Oh, 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 use it. Okay. Uh, it would be a struggle. Yeah. It would, it would not, it would not be easy. I would appreciate seeing that on film. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Come on, guys. <laughs> tell us on the Top Clack Discord if you guys want to see Brian struggle with a let's let. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle enough with keyboards as it is. <laughs> Speaking of something that probably wouldn't be a struggle for a lot of people to decide, especially since it's first come, first serve of 75 units, is the QXP by Constras of the, 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 the names. Um, yes, names. <laughs> names. But this is a 60% keyboard. We covered the interest check just the other week. Um, it's 
finally available. Um, 75 yeah. units, first come, first serve. Um, if it, only 25 people buy it, it's 285 But if all 75 slots are filled, $250. PCB, if you want it, is $40, which is a bit expensive. And the reasoning is he's just going to buy a DZ60 or DO60 and upcharge yeah. you. Just get your own yeah. PCB. I love, I love, love, love the layout of this uh, this thread. I love how honest he is yeah. and how straightforward he is. Exactly. He's like, I don't want to do a PCB. Like, you're you're gonna pay more if I, you're getting one through me. Like, this is the way it works. He's like, love that. Yeah, I, I, it's nice and easy. Bullet points, pew 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 pew. I'm shooting you with some bullets. Easy to read. Easy to digest. Is... Five degrees. Yeah. Three pounds, yep. ten ounces when built. Milled plates. Um, weights are gonna be numbered. Um, you can get an extra plate if you want. Um, yeah. This is this is a winner for me. I really like this design, and I think the price is, price is, is great. Pretty, too, too, pretty reasonable. Too, yeah. All, let's, let's, let's be honest. I'm I'm pretty sure all 250 spots are going to sell. 250? There's 75. I'm sorry, sorry. All 75 spots are going to sell for 250. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have no doubt in my mind that all of these will sell. Price is, is just too for, good. For, for, for that price. It's, it's good. Yeah. So, check it out. Yep. And, uh, yeah, shipping. shipping um, so, he is in the U.S. The orders will be shipped from China to him, and then he will ship from there in the U.S. He will ship them out to customers from the U.S. So, um, oh, okay, yeah. So, he, he will do all the shipping himself. Even like the international stuff, yes. so that's that's kind of unfortunate for international mm -hmm. people because they will have to pay that that shipping price. But it shouldn't be terribly bad. It shouldn't be anything that we haven't seen before. But for people in the U.S., this is actually going to be pretty darn awesome because that means we can get like fifteen dollars shipping instead of like forty or fifty or sixty dollars shipping like we have on a lot of other nice customs. Mm -hmm. So. Um, this this keyboard is definitely a win for me, especially if you're in the U.S. The price is going to be really, really great. Um, I'm very excited about this. Mm -hmm. um, Something that gets a lot of people excited, though, is smooth, clean, fun lube. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it does. It is. Um, and we have an intercheck recently by Krellbit, a.k.a. A Switch Mod. Um, for an intercheck for a thin version of the Trebosis, which I really want. Um, unfortunately, this intercheck didn't do so well, and he said already that he's probably not going to proceed with it. Um, That's a bummer, man. That is a I've bummer. Been, I've been harassing him for a while to do a thin Trebosis. But, but the reason he said, he said, he was talking on the art Discord, one of the big reasons is it's just a really, really high MOQ to make this actually happen. Um, well, it's much higher than the interest that he's gauged, so he's going to... He's gonna chill for it for a little bit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I like the trib the normal trib assist, the, the three two zero four. I think it's fine, but for me, it's still definitely on the thicker side. Yeah. In the way it is applied and the way it feels to me in the switch, I really, really, really do prefer thinner lubes. So, show some interest in this, guys. Like, come on, Th this 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 is a good thing. This yeah. should happen. Speaking of things you should show interest for, and that's a good thing. Is this next topic, which is a wonderful charity, Clack for Cats? Um, yes. What is it? It's a charity raffle being for the held um, 2018. It's a it's a raffle. Join, donate. Um, a lot of people are contributing. Um, yeah, you can enter um, with through the uh, Alley Cat organization website. Donate. Show them you donated, and you can possibly win some awesome, cool items donated by a awesome cool people um yeah there's a lot a lot of a lot of cool people already in here um you know we have greenwall designs that uh he, he's the one doing the uh the new corian board which is really cool um our partner novel keys is in there um you know prime caps is in there strata kb is in there and lots of others so a lot of cool people backing this and, and putting forth uh what i'm i'm gonna presume are pretty sweet prizes so definitely make sure you uh you, you hit up this because you know who doesn't like cats? Come on, man. Yeah. You're pretty sure like everyone in this community likes cats. Because yeah. we're all just you know like socially inept, so we like to just sit at home with our animals. Speaking of cats, do you know a game that a lot of crazy cat ladies like to play where I live? 
uh, Mahjong? <laughs> no, they like to play Scrabble. And speaking of Scrabble, we have the XDA Scrabble Board Group Buy from Novel Keys, in case you wanted to get um, a lot of uh, a lot of Kel switches and This Scrabble. is insane. <laughs> 15 by 15. The... A slot acrylic plate. Oof. This is... Um... With color coded for actual score indicators on the board, so if you join the mass drop buy for the Scrabble, you got all your blanks, you got all, you got the official tile set kits. Um, bam, you can be like, "Hey, let's play some XDA Scrabble," and they're like, "What's the difference?" And the difference is gonna be like, hey, "This is the difference. I'm a nerd." Guys, this comes with 225 switches. <laughs> at, at first, I thought it was $100. I was like, oh, it's kind of expensive. Then I realized it came with that many switches. It comes and I'm like, with Wait, all the switches. They're all there. This is actually, this is actually okay. Yeah. 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 Um, this is nuts. This is, like, absolutely nuts. Like, if you guys on the, go to this website and, like, check out the pictures and check out the edges, you can tell he actually, like, kind of struggled to put it in his photo box of how big it is yeah it's monstrous <laughs> it's so big yeah well we had cassidy on the stream um the designer of the yeah, scrabble key set last week she she had a prototype and like i mean she's not a very big person but it's like it was like engulfing her camera like it was so big um <laughs> pretty awesome though yeah. honestly yeah I, I don't know if i'd ever use it to play scrabble but i think having like this as a switch tester would be really cool <laughs> Mm. I'm still waiting for someone to just like get one of these and hand wire it. I'm just waiting for someone who lives in like Finland to orders it and sees their shipping price. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Okay, well, let's go to another topic that most people um, don't want to talk about, but we will. Um, which is this small little snippet I found about panda switches. Yeah. Which is a comment panda from round Pete two. saying. We received the samples of Panda Switches last night and unfortunately rejected them. Sadly, this means a new round is delayed. From my sources, I hear this is probably about 6 to 12 weeks. The one interesting thing is, why were they rejected? Yeah, I'm not really sure. So I read through um, this whole conversation that, that Pete has with um, community member J Chaos here. And... I, it's actually a pretty cool exchange, but you should you should go read it. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I'm not really sure like why they were like rejected they, they because were not identical to round one was the main reason. Um, yes, but round one was insanely inconsistent. So if they had consistency issues, wouldn't it be on par for round well, one? Well, even even Pete admitted that he doesn't care. He just wants. The housings and stems. Stems, yeah. I don't want to lie with those stems. And those that's, housings. Well, yeah. And you know, that, that's fine. I, I, I definitely appreciate his honesty there because that's mostly what people in the community want from Panda Switches right now. No one no one buys Panda Switches just to use anymore. Like, that happened at the very beginning when they first ran and nobody knew like what to do, what else to do with them, so they just used them. And honestly, I, I didn't mind them at all. But turns out the housings are really good for tactile switches they make tactile switches feel stronger they feel more like themselves like a like a stronger version of themselves i guess is a better way to put it um and you know hence we have holy pandas and if you've been living under a rock holy pandas are uh wildly popular right now and the price reflects that and it's really really tough to find so pete is trying to effectively monopolize the panda housing market to where only he is the one selling them and since the demand is so high, he's going to sell a lot of them. Yep. So there is that. Pretty cool, I guess. If you're if you're into this, obviously, getting panda switches is very helpful for making holy pandas. Speaking of things that are hard to find, you know what's hard to find, Brian? Um, it's hard to find reasons to not love our sponsors so much. And we love our sponsors here at Top Crack. I was trying to come up with something witty, and I just I had nothing, I had nothing at all. 
But uh, yeah, no. Obviously, we love our sponsors here. Um, even though we don't have the sponsor GIF in the the stream like we normally do. Sorry about that. But we we do still have sponsors. I assure you. Until they until they say they hate us. <laughs> <laughs> so uh for first up we have info club over at kono.store is their storefront you can uh, check out all sorts of cool things here they have the cura going on right now there's a kickstarter for that awesome price we've talked about that a few times on the show now there's a uh, there's a plastic version there's an aluminum version both priced pretty well and it has lots of uh, fancy sweet features like cherry profile keycaps per key smd rgb all programmable underglow high profile 96 key for pretty darn good price and it's USB C to boot so pretty fantastic stuff there and of course they also have um white foxes in stock white foxes night foxes uh, out of stock coming back in stock when the next freight comes and those sold those sold out quick man oh yeah um, I was so talking so to fast. I was talking to Colbin, one of the members of Ember Club. And he's he was telling me like, oh man, he, I did not order enough night foxes. Like people were pounding at my door to get more night fox <laughs> to get night foxes, and he's already sold it's, all out. He's like, you guys gotta wait. So yeah, as far as low profile boards go, I think it's it's pretty sick. I think night fox, white fox are probably the pretty much as good as it gets for for low profile. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So check that out. Also, you can pick up some of these new Hako Violet switches. So if you're one of those weird people that thought um, you know, your Hako clears or your Hako trues were uh, linear or whatever. Too heavy. Or too heavy. Yeah, I heard both of those complaints quite a bit. This is probably the answer for both of you, as it's both lighter and it feels more tactile because it is lighter. Obviously, a heavier spring impedes the way tactility feels, so lighter spring, generally speaking, equals more tactile, and you definitely feel that here. So if you liked the clears or trues, but they were just too much for you, maybe give these a try. Yeah. Our next sponsor, moving on, is the Beast from the East, Z Frontier. Z Frontiers, pretty awesome. They're going to be running the Alf X3 pretty soon. They're going to have some, a lot of really, really cool projects coming up. More keycaps, more keyboards, but they're always on the move. You should check all their stuff out. Keycap section, great. Looking forward to when they are stocking Aqua because we're excited mm. to see if JTK got that right. Um, those legends, after all. Um, whew. So, yeah, please yeah. check out Z Frontier when you get a chance. Check out all their interest checks. Yeah, if you're outside of uh, the U.S. and you want to pick up something like GMK Olivia or GMK Necro, they are the proxy for it. So make sure you uh, head over there and check that out. Mm -hmm. Speaking of legends, Mike of Novel Keys is basically a legend at this point, having a such a wonderful, diverse array of switches available on the site, as well as that new Let's Split kits for his low-profile switches, which feel amazing if you haven't had a chance to try them out yet. I wish they're actually pretty I wish good. Laptops yeah, had those had those keyboards, even though they're clicky. Like, ooh, those are really nice. Feel free to use the Top Clack promo code on. Novel keys is just top clack, two words, um, contrary to popular belief. Um, <laughs> Not contrary one. Contrary to popular two. <laughs> typing. Um, All right. He's also the main uh, runner for. What happened to my volume, guys? You, your mic did the thing that it does sometimes. Rip. Where, where, yeah, where it just like gets really, really quiet. You're back now. Rip. Okay, that was weird. Um,. Yeah. So yeah, so. check out all of Mike's stuff. He's also the main the main group by host for GMK Livia. So if you're in Conus, it's where you want to go when you want to get some awesome GMK Olivia. Yep. Who's as well on? as that sick Scrabble board that and we just that talked sick about. T-shirts. Yeah, I want a T-shirt okay. that is a picture of Mike wearing the shirt. Yes. Please make that happen. Yes. <laughs> I want that so bad. Yes. Anyways, like uh, like you already mentioned, promo I code so top bad. back. I speaking of things I want so bad. I want Zeal to start working on his next projects because I know what they are. Um, Zeal is another wonderful sponsor of ours who has great switches. Brian and I we're big fans of the Telios. Um, I still need to lube mine. Zeal's told me like Huey, why have you not lubed my Telios yet? I'm, I'm sorry, Zeal. I will I will get to lubing 
the Telios this weekend, I promise. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They also have the wonderful oh. 67 and 78 gram tactile Xylans and Zelios, which really those stem revamps in the round nine and beyond. Spring. Are, round spring eight. Oh, sorry, the sp- spring revamp and uh, round eight and beyond are amazing for those two weights. Um, on my E6, I have my unfortunately unfortunate to Zeo unlubed still Xylance. He says it's lube all the switches. I, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Z- Zeal only uses lube switches. It's pretty funny. <laughs> like, like I think I said this last time, but like he asked me like how the Telios were or whatever, and I was like, "Haven't you used them?" And he's like, "Not unlubed." It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> how do you like release a product and like not try it like naturally? That was pretty weird. Anyways, yeah, Telios, great. Uh, the new updated spring Zelios, I, I think, are also fantastic. Someone the other day asked me, like, if it was actually a really big difference, and, like, it really is. It is quite large. So check that out. Unfortunately, we're all way too late for the Zephyr, which was really sweet. Mm-hmm. But uh, hopefully very new new and interesting things come in Zeal's way. Some secret things. Speaking of secrets... It's time to... I don't know why it's a secret, it's, but we it's, need it's to bring on... It's not a secret. We need to bring on our uh, our guest. If you want to bring up that transition screen, Huey, if we have that. Guess what I didn't prepare? Transition. The transition screen. So everyone gets to see a black screen now while while we, while we ring-a-ding-ding everything in. Add people to this call. Ah, uh, yeah. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Like it. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hello. All right, we're, not we're see, getting we closer. Saw, we see your image. One oh. beautiful image. We were missing. We were missing. Hello. There we go. Can you see me now? We can see you. Are we Gucci? We are, we are Gucci. Hi, everyone. And hi, Olivia. Welcome. So much to talk, Clack. Thank you so much for taking your time to join us. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> How am I doing tonight? Yes. Sorry. No worries. I am great. So good. <laughs> the best. So, to the people that are watching that might not be aware of who you are, can you explain just who you are and you know what you've uh, been up to in this community? And what brought, sure. you, what brought you into to our circle? Sure. So, I'm Olivia. I have been part of the community, I guess, about eight, nine months. Basically, vintage keyboards actually brought me to the community. I saw, like, the video about the beam spring, and that was, like, amazing. And I just, like, needed it, and obviously everyone wanted it back then. And, like, one of, like, the first big purchases I ever did was, like, negotiating with this California person who found like beam springs in his garage in some auction and then like negotiating to like bring it all the way back to the east coast because I live in New York but yeah since then like I've kind of been dipping my toes in like the customization stuff and like accumulating a crap load of keyboards and now like releasing a keys at GMK Olivia which I hope everyone likes yeah, so most people actually don't know how hard you went in this hobby. Yeah. So, you know, most people buy a keyboard or two to start, and then, like, you wait a little bit and buy something new. Yeah. But Olivia just buys everything. Yeah, I have very, <laughs> I have very little impulse control. <laughs> so I, I supplement that by going bankrupt, pretty much. It's, like, a really good strategy. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> advice. All right, yeah. so... Moving on to your namesake key set, which mm-hmm. I believe is that's like that's your breakout thing. You haven't really done anything yeah. else in the community. For still sure. still fresh, still a lot of time. So can you take us through the design process of why you made that key set and what it was like making that key set? Sure. So why I guess I made the key set. There was like there's like a lot of pink key sets and like it's always like pink and red alphas or pink and cream alphas. And, like, nothing that kind of is very different than that. Like, I basically bought all the pink key sets and, like, got kind of bored of that. And I was like, I want a set for rose gold boards because I decided that the best way to limit my budget is to buy only 
HHKDs that support rose gold colors, which is why I pretty much in every thread asking for rose gold. So <laughs> after, after that, I basically uh, decided to make a key set because people kept on like asking me like if I'm ever going to make a key set. And as a joke, I kind of like threw together something on KLE and like people started liking it and I just kept on like tweaking the colors and eventually I was like, I really like this. I actually want it to happen. So then I kind of just kept on working on that. I bought like a crap load of Pantone colors, which is like so expensive, such a monopoly, but it is necessary, I guess, if you want to like produce something physical. And from there, like, I basically just kept on working with people in the community that I already knew. Like, for example, like, the reason why I'm working with Novel Keys is just because like Mike was in the Discord a lot and like, he seems very friendly and pretty much I just keep on growing from there. Like more and more people that I kept on talking to and kept on like being super encouraging and eventually like we're at a key set now, which is super exciting. Yes, most definitely. So what was it like um, kind of like working with Mike of Novel Keys or yeah. any of your proxies or GMK? Sure. That's probably a fairly new experience for you as well. Yeah. It's like, Mike is super great. Like he's always super friendly and he's, he understands, I guess like the familiar is a lot better than me. Like he basically already had existing contacts with GMK, with Zed Frontier and like he had worked with some of the EU vendors as well. So like he already had existing relationships that we could leverage to like offer the sets, which was super useful. So he like, quickly talk to everyone, like everyone was like very excited to offer it. And basically it's been like a really awesome relationship. Like he takes care of like all the crazy parts and like basically it's just super encouraging and telling me to like chill out Olivia, like we're doing really well. Don't freak out. Basically like my free therapist, which is 